Good evening. This is a continued public hearing uh, of Peter and Pamela Bates. Uh, this is continued from November 7, 2022. This is a special meeting of the Underhill Development Review Board. Uh, my name is Charlie Van Winkle. To my left is Dan Lee, Matt Chapek, Shane Bartlett, and Brian Birch. And our planning and zoning administrator is Nick Adjerton. Uh, so I'm at the table is uh, Mark Bay. And uh, I'll just give a recap of where I think we're at. And Mark, maybe you can correct me if I do something wrong. Uh, basically, when the board first uh, looked at this package, in we did a site visit in June or July. I think we did that. Yeah, it was in July. Barn rain day. Do you remember? Yeah, lightning. We got lightning. <laughs> and so. Um, we came back, we did the preliminary and final hearing on November 7th. We were concerned about uh, a couple of things. Number one, a uh, habitat block uh, encroachment. Number two, uh, the amount of cut required for the driveway. We looked at a, a nine foot cut. We didn't have any uh, grading plan or erosion containment set of control plan. Um, and we didn't really have any, enough information to hang our hat on regarding disruption of that block. Uh, unbeknownst to us at that time, um, the applicant had submitted a letter from the forester, um, which is listed as Exhibit I in your package. Uh, that basically said she didn't, and Peter has been managing the forest on the property for years. And the recommendation is basically not to trip. So they've left a lot of beech trees you know, to preserve uh, wildlife habitat. Uh, and they intend on continuing that practice. Um, we received uh, five additional exhibits plus uh, Nick's summary email or summary memo, which is also listed as an exhibit. So it's a total of six additional exhibits. They're listed as exhibit I through M and include uh, both the letter from the forester, the exhibit from uh, the sports plan, the sports disposal from it, sorry. Um, we've got the driveway profile plan as exhibit K, a revised plat, which is exhibit L, um, a site plan, which is exhibit, uh, it's exhibit M, M, and then your memo is exhibit M. So, um, and I'll leave it from there. If you want to correct me or someone has anything that indicated wrong. Yeah, so that's basically, you know, all the revisions that we've uh, supplied to Nick uh, since, since the last meeting. Um, the site plan by Apex Engineering includes the grading and uh, erosion control measures that were requested. Um, uh, on the site plan, we do show um, clearing limits based on the improvements that we're proposing right now at the house site, driveway, house site, and grading. Um, however, on the plat, we are showing you know, more of a formal uh, limits of disturbance. We're calling it the primary uh, building structure, proposed primary structure building envelope and limits of downslope clearing. Um, so we're forcing, um, the limits of clearing to stay within that um, within that uh, downslope area or the limits uh, as shown on the uphill side. You know, obviously, where uh, they will, you know, as after the house site is improved, it'll be limited to the boundaries. Let's see uh, the letter from the forester. I think was to cover the habitat, the concern regarding the habitat block, um, and the, um, what other things are we talking about here? Um, so we did want to discuss today, um, making sure, you know, the discussion about the limits of clearing uh, and the primary building envelope and um, would request in the future uh, if an accessory uh, 
buildings such as a shed or garage wanted to be built uh, that could be done uh, with zoning administrator approval. Okay, response? No, I'm, usually that's the way it goes. Um, I like the wording on your plat that says primary structure. That kind of creates any ambiguity in terms of uh, you know, if you want to do a secondary structure like accessory use for right, shed. Yeah, I just wanted to have the discussion, make sure you know that uh, you know the wording covered that. Matt, the one thing we did on this job or in this project um, that you should be aware of is we moved the zoning boundary line. Yeah, I, I picked up on that somewhere. Yeah, just, yeah. I saw you looking at it. Yeah, it was just a little corner coming in. Yeah, it was a little corner. Yeah. Right, we went through it, and it was like you know, yeah. a lot in two zones has weird things. So we've gone with there's no development proposed in the higher zone minimum area. And that's why we're allowed to move the line 100 feet. So we moved it 100 feet, one 100 feet to get the other line. And it gets us out of the line two zones uh, requirement. So is that actually what determined the location of the driveway right there, just to keep it out of that zone? Or? No, it actually, I think it was designed to great contour. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. Kind of that coupled with the, the building. I just had a question. You mentioned in an email about an aerial map. Uh, was oh, yeah. that included? Um, the Forster re letter references an like, air photo. Yeah, it was never submitted. I was never submitted. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, just, I just saw the, the letter, unless that was something that I overlooked. No, it was just the letter that was submitted. Yeah, she says in the letter, it says, see the attached aerial photo. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you don't have a copy of that either or not. But. Sorry, I Google mapped it. Yes. it. Yeah. I didn't see that air photo. It was, it was kicking around. We have to list it as an exhibit. Yeah. So I think, um, I'm, you know, based on the discussion and the notes I took from the last meeting, I believe um, the additional information provided. Um, get to all those topics. Um, I asked Nick to prepare this, e this kind of summary email. Hopefully you have it before this morning. Or did you get it Friday? You didn't get it I haven't long. seen it. No. Uh, there's a copy there. Um, it's basically just summarizes what we submitted. Okay, but it's an exhibit that we're going to reference in the occasion. So you should have seen it. I'm sorry, we didn't before today, but before now. <laughs> There's nothing in it that we're asking you to do. So, but, there isn't? No. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. But, but, uh, so Nick, I'm going to turn it up. If you're done, I'm going to ask Nick. Yes. To just summarize his, his memo. Okay. So the um, yes, the memo uh, exhibit end that I should have um, sent that out. I apologize. It's a bit sick on Friday. Um, essentially, uh, as Charlie said, um, lays out some of the, my understanding of the um, issues from last uh, hearing that were not that were um, causing a hang up, and then uh, compares the exhibits that were submitted to those issues. So um, in this, I note that um, you know in the October 2020 hearing, some members of the board were concerned that the draft plat and site plan did not adequately visualize the limits of intended forest clearing. Um, and uh, I note that five new exhibits have been submitted to uh, try to address that. So we'll go through those one by one. Exhibit I, that's a letter from Fran Sedek Forrester. Um, that was mistakenly excluded. Um, Due to my error back in July, um, it was attached to an email with other stuff uh, intended for submission. Um, this forester uh, has managed the Bates Forest property for the current its enrollment in the current use program. And the letter explains that the proposed location for the new lot and house would minimize forest fragmentation and offer continued opportunities for wild active management for the benefit of wildlife. Exhibit J is the wastewater system and potable water supply permit that had not been yet finalized and issued by the state. 
in the last hearing. It has been now. Um, and uh, it is uh, it approves a, um, a wastewater plant for a single family home on that um, on that site. Um, exhibit K is a proposed driveway profile uh, that was revised to meet the uh, Underhill Jericho Fire, uh, Fire Department's preferred grade and turning radii. Um, that now meets those their preferred standards, which, um, based on my review of it, means that the, uh, a letter of um, ability to serve should be forthcoming from the fire department once uh, it's requested. He submitted one. In the we were given a we were given a verbal promise that one would be one would be um, uh, issued, and it never has been. There's an email on the, the November seventh package from the fire department that says as long as you do the road and driveway to our standards, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll be able to serve it. Are you asking for something else? I've been in the habit of getting a, a letter that says prescriptively, you know, we will be able to um, okay. uh, service this um, just as a, a matter of making sure that everyone is covered uh, liability wise. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, between the promise to um, issue that on based on the prior um, the prior plans and now these other plans are even more in line with the preferred standards. I think that that letter should be should be forthcoming. Uh, and then we have exhibit L. That's the draft two lot subdivision plot. Um, this eliminates the proposed clearing limits in favor of a tightened primary building envelope that is co-located with the primary dwelling setbacks to the east, uh, north, and south. And the west edge of the envelope. I'm using these cardinal directions somewhat loosely, but the west edge of the envelope has been drawn such that it would exclude most of the western half of the parcel from development. And um, the applicant has stated that they further, that they propose that this western boundary also serve as a clearing limit for vegetation. And uh, finally, we have exhibit M, a draft two lot sub, um, I'm sorry, that was a mistake, that was, uh, should have been the site plan. That's a revision of the original site plan include some of the features of the latest plat, um, including the uh, proposed envelope and clearing limit that I just described. It imports some blue tinted clearing limit um, clearing limits from the original draft plat. And you can see those if you take a look at um, exhibit M. Uh, you see a sort of a squiggly blue line. Um, in a conversation with the applicant's consultant um, about this meeting, he explained that this is intended to illustrate the limits of clearing that will need to occur during construction and he included it in order to help DRB visualize the project in relation to the newly proposed lot lines and the mapped habitat areas that, we, that the board's been examining. Um, so having reviewed these, it's my opinion that these represent significant improvement over the original exhibits in terms of um, ability to understand them visually and also to uh, adjust some of the dimensional standards on the driveway to um, ensure that it is uh, meets those standards, um, as well as preserve a uh, large chunk of quality habitat in a way that would mean it would remain undisturbed um, from clearing, um, either as a part of original construction or later occupation of the parcel. Um, and I should just note that, you know, during uh, as I was uh, speaking with the applicant and, the, and uh, their consultant about um, preparing for this meeting, I uh, was told repeatedly that um, they would like to retain some amount of flexibility within the uh, general area of the house to uh, erect a accessory structure at some later point, <coughs> but that um, clearing limits were something that they were also hoping to um, Agree with, with the board so that we, that that could be um, uh, produced at one satisfaction. Cool. Good. That's all you got. Um, no additional. Unless anyone has questions. Well, yeah, we're going to go around the room for questions. Yes. Yeah. Uh, anyone members from the board? Uh, no one's remote, but I'll just start at my left and go around. Yeah. Any questions? Uh, no questions. No, I, I mean, I'd just say that the grading plan looks great. And thanks for all this additional information. Um, 
Yes, so I would just make a comment that it seems maybe a bit atypical for the clearing limits to be outside of the property boundary, but I understand it's parents and their son who are, you know, yeah, it off, and I um, don't imagine anything is going to go awry there, but it's hard to say yes to a driveway when you know that the clear, the cut has to extend beyond the property. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, um, there was, you know, some thought and consideration that we did talk to Nick a little bit about that. Um, you know, being that Peter Sr. is the developer um, and it's, you know, all his land at this point, you know, it, it just felt like it was reasonable. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, that's all for me. Thank you. I was going to go around the table, but if anybody has a question, just fire it away. I'll go. Okay, go. <laughs> uh, on the uh, grading plan, is the uh, a dashed line that runs, is like a corner, is that what the old zoning um, line was? What am I looking at? The boring was the, the rectangular one? Yeah, is that safe? So, that's way the, well into the that's the the old one prior I mean, to moving yeah. oh, okay yeah and then, and then the new one we moved at 100 feet both to the south and to the east. Oh, okay pull that down and that over basically shrunk up the corner if you want okay and and i wasn't sure you were talking about the, this clearing line up in here yeah okay and we got the frontage along the driveway or not the driveway but the existing so driveway the right away up the room. that's what I, was, I thought it was a pretty uh, slick way down it okay First line. and that's the end of the ruling at the end of the road no uh, no see he extended road. the right away up along the driveway you see that yeah so he's able to get the frontage there didn't have to do the end of the cul-de-sac okay he took quite a lot okay so we don't have to wait. We don't have to wait. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that that was the only question I had. Do you understand what I? You guys just understand what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. The front. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm good. Yeah, I'm like, I was just gonna say that uh, I'm okay with the clearing limits. Um, like they've shown, looks like more or less they follow the grading of the driveway and um, you know the septic field and essentially what's being developed. So I yeah. don't have a problem with any of that. And Jamie, you know, uh, is there anyone from the public who wants to speak about the application? Question? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, final comments? Uh, no. No other questions. Any final comments from the board or questions? Did we work out the habitat lot? Uh, so the the reason why we're so interested in clearing limits was the fact that um, we had high value habitat block on both sides. Okay. Um, we did not we didn't know what the extent of disturbance on the site was going to be, so we didn't feel uh, warm and fuzzy about just creating blanket approval of do something without some kind of respect or, or uh, consideration of that, that block. So uh, the board member who's most concerned is upstairs now. Mm -hmm. in the, yeah. In the uh, commission meeting, uh, on the conservation commission meeting, but um, if I recall her comments from the last hearing, she just wanted to hang her hat on something mm -hmm. that had to do with preserving that, that block. So the existing parcels in a current use program or, or it's under a forestry management plan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're the We're forestry. The forestry and, and we did not have the benefit of the weather at the last time we were here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we kind of tabled things. We had a couple of things that were not quite okay. what we were expecting to see. Yeah. Yeah, also man, he's all the uh, forest around us. Yeah. He has little sugar bushes that are around us. Okay. But he doesn't want to 
and it was a pretty good sized commercial sugar bush just to the north of you guys, right? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. one one that on our east. Yeah. He does both those. Yeah. So that was uh, that was why we, we asked for some clearing limits and uh, <coughs> disturbance limits and things like that. So if there is a shed or another accessory building, would it be in this in this building envelope or are they or would it be changed? They want to have the flexibility to put it wherever it's appropriate. Um, which is why the delineated So this limits of downslope clearing might go away? No, other than you know, if there's a shed put up, I mean there would just be, you know, the seems like a lot of room here. <laughs> well, Ironically enough, there really there really isn't. Okay. Um, you know, it's it's for the scale is not a huge house site. You know, really, it's uh, it's modest. Um, so if you know if there was an area where and, and we don't even know if this exists or if this would ever happen, but I think they're just trying to reserve the ability to, mm -hmm. you know, if there was an area to you know just pull off the driveway and have a little shed or something or. You know, some sort of outbuilding to park a tractor in or something. Right. You know, something just kind of accessory to the lot. But right. yeah, there's and any clearing for that would just be the you know the structure itself. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. Let's go clear Take the whole thing. <laughs> I don't have a script tonight, so I'm weighing that. Does <laughs> the board feel I have enough information at this time to uh, make a decision on the application at once? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if so, um, I'd like to take a motion, entertain a motion to close the evidentiary portion of the hearing. Make a motion to close the evidentiary portion. Is there a second? I second that. Right, motion by Matt. Second moved by Shannon to close the evidentiary portion of the hearing. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Then I want to take a motion for approval. Well, let me ask you this. I would ask if the board wants to deliberate this on this application in open and closed session. So would that be a motion, part of the motion? No, if you, if you want to talk about it uh, in private for any reason, uh, we can go into a deliberative session and issue our decision from there. Um, I, well, I, don't need to, I would encourage yeah. us to do everything that's open, but yeah, there's, there's something that we can talk about. Right. Right. Yeah, there's something that we can talk about mm -hmm. in executive session. So then it's going to remain and be the decision making in open session. Uh, we have to find things in the affirmative. So uh, they don't take a motion to approve the application with conditions to be worked out. There are a review of our evidence. <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve uh, the um, Bates two lot subdivision um, based on conditions we've talked about here. I uh, will come up with on, uh, in our deliberative session. Deliberative session. Matt made a motion to approve. Is there a second? Line? Second. Yep. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 No one opposed. Motion carries. All right. Uh, we'll get your decision as soon as we can. All right. And uh, you can be ready for this building permit season. Perfect. Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Wow. Thanks for the detail. Right. <laughs> I'm glad we get there. <laughs> Um, I can go home. <laughs> That's quick. Don't say that. It'll be. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Come on, Jake. It's on the come up here till like 9 30. <laughs> Very good. Thank all right, you all. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's great. Good to see you. Happy New Year. Yeah, thank you. So, we don't have minutes, right? We don't have minutes. Don't have minutes. So I was not able to get a word version of it that I could remove the watermark from. I'm frustrated. Okay. Um, I gotta remember what one. The last minutes are from November 7th. They were from 
or October 3rd. October 3rd. So we have that was our last meeting, October 3rd? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So where we considered this same case. Yeah. So since then, Charlie and I met in a brief session, the date and time certain to continue. It's uh, November 7th. Yeah. Okay. And then we did it until tonight. Okay. We wasn't going to be ready for November. And we asked them when he wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's looking at the calendar, and we're like, okay. There's no hearing scheduled in January because of holidays. So we created this special hearing tonight. Yeah. I just wanted to keep it one hearing tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because ease us back in. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because why? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we well, have this time off. Yeah, we did have <laughs> So it's best to just, you know, totally what I'm talking about. Um, what else happens since we've been asking? Thanks for looking at my time report I gave him to Brad this yeah. morning. Uh, I got asked because my wife is on the planning commission to come and testify or participate in one of the planning commission's meetings. Uh, they were working out steep slopes. And mm. I said, you know, it's really a pain in the ass. <laughs> uh, it, you know, and we pulled up Michael Moore's initial sketch plan application where they had like different color blotches on the contour map and we need to drive away in there. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, kind of What's the intent of prohibiting them? Restricting you know, steep slopes because you have two different categories and you know this is what we're gonna get. And with computer technology this is not a hard thing to do. Right to get the real reading on what's out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I said so you know, do you want, what's the intent of the back and ask them to look at what intent as opposed to designating a number. Yeah, I don't know where that's going to go. Um, yeah, yeah, that's one of those things living in Underhill that's like affects basically every application. It's a path of life. Yeah, I mean, whole town steep slopes. But it's yeah. also what keeps things from sliding down the hill. Yes. Uh, things from Theoretical. Uh, well, 20% yeah. is, is really or steep. Or less mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. so there's, and there's So there's really steep. Yeah, and then very steep. Mm -hmm. steep. <laughs> well, if, if, you know, why don't we just have steep slopes and again? Yeah, right. you can't go above it. Right. Or Here it if, if you go above it, you can impact ten percent of whatever because the grading line's got to encroach in it, and they're going to have to do something. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, you know, I just it's just it's still dependent on the site. I mean, if the steep slope yeah. is where the Absolutely, the driveway needs to be, then you know, a lot of that's going to yeah. have an impact still. But, but like, what if you got to cross the slope, steep slope to get from the lot to the road? Right? In theory, then, the roadside ditch would be pretty steep. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I didn't have a good answer for it. Mm. But I provided uh, feedback, I gave on my list of concerns that Penny. Developed and yeah. keeping a running total of. Um, so they're in the process of like doing a revision. They're going through the, the zoning regs and yeah. trying to clean stuff up. They, okay. They did the last three years with the town plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll be honest, I'm in the town plan area. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's not like I'm a bed state. And they did everything. We're, we're supposed to refer to it if we have a conflict in our regs. And, you know, I don't remember the last time I referred to it uh, in our ranks. That was something I was going to recommend you put in your letter <laughs> that every, all people coming at it, new and old, should read the town plan. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. Sorry, that'll be next year. For... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll, I'll remember next year. But anyway, that was. Uh... Well, we're good for. Is it five years or eight years or more? The town plan, I'm thinking eight, eight years. Yeah, eight, eight years right now? Yeah. And that was so two years ago? Or? Yeah, 2021 job. Okay. Yeah. So well, it, it, it hasn't been approved, though. Oh, really? I think it has. It hasn't been approved. Okay. Because huh. yeah. um, they went through their hearing. Did they go through their hearing? They went through their hearing, yeah. 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 I, I went to one, I was the only person there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's been through. Uh, no, it's been, yeah, that's okay. been good. Yeah. They, it, it sometimes drives my life a little crazy. 
because they start at six and they end at seven thirty. Yeah. And um, regardless of whether they're yeah. mid sentence. Mid sentence. Okay. Yeah. And, well, not, uh, and, and uh, I don't know if you know Roy Dumphy, but he he used to be on the DRB. Okay. And he since joined the planning commission, he's like, we don't do anything. We're like mid sentence. You just finished the sentence. <laughs> We're working on trying to get our agendas under control and looking to see a little bit. It's it's there's a lot of there's a lot out there to deal with, um, a lot of stuff that needs attention, and so um, we're trying to. Uh, I've been working with Brian to try to um, get our agendas a little bit more streamlined and focused. So uh, I met Brian skiing one day uh, a few weeks ago, so we chat chat a little bit then. Great. I think he had a meeting that night or last week. Or yeah. Like, you know, they're working on trying to tighten up the brakes and not make them so conflicting mm -hmm. and things like that. I think it, on the steep slopes, I think it'd be great if there was like a hard and fast number that if it impacted a large area of that, just said no. Because mm -hmm. I don't think easier. we've ever <laughs> done that. We always. Um, make all sorts of accommodations to allow people to yeah. do what they want on proposed building sites, mm -hmm. which I think has maybe in a couple instances come back to haunt the person in the chair. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yeah. we don't like see that again. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> or again. It just like causes issues. Mm -hmm. It seems. Yeah. I think uh, anything that can cut your issues that way would be great. Uh, certainly. I think a hard and fast number is interesting. I'd like to know what other. Why can't we make our own that. hard and fast number? As a rule. Our own. <laughs> well, the, the planning commission. Uh, this they is how that. we interpret it. Interpret yeah. This, and this is our rule. Is the wording now that like anything over like a very steep slope cannot be impacted at all the house? Currently worded or I think so. So yeah. I think that's very steep is like off limits. Anything that's steep has to go through conditional use review. Okay. So but I also that. like the parameter that Dan just kind of said that the the area. Yeah. You know, is it just the driveway or is it right? Like uh, sometimes to avoid like a very steep area, you may have to build, you know, uh, another couple hundred feet of driveway to get around that is that is that a better solution than right. just like going straight up um but you know it depends on the site for sure so so that's where the driveway grade gets a little wonky okay where they say maximum grade is 10 percent you're not allowed to exceed 10 percent for more than 50 feet yeah right so what is that <laughs> but that's not always true either right so if the maximum grade is 10 percent then why are you telling me i can exceed 10 percent for no more than 50 feet right right, right. Yeah. something that the fire department also doesn't like much yeah right. okay that only yeah. Kind of conflicts with their yeah. preference mm -hmm. and their preference i've come to understand is not just arbitrary but it's based on the insurance that they pull yeah. on behalf of the town mm -hmm. and yeah. uh so eventually if someone ever wanted to audit uh, us and if the insurance company wanted to, they could audit us and find out how just how many miles of our driveway are built, you know, outside of that spec. What's their limit? Is there a limit at 10%? 10 of okay. Yeah. I'll note that Jericho allows up to 15 and sometimes 18%. Oh, wow. I've heard. So, well, Jeffersonville doesn't have any rule. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jeffersonville came to have any. So the. Um, but the in theory, they don't. They really don't. But in theory, your homeowner's right. is adjusted because of that. It is. Right? It is. So, you know, if we enjoy low homeowners insurance, it's because the fire department has and enforces standards. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Oh, I'm not saying we should go the other way. So. Yeah. 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 Um, do you want to talk about this application? Should we go out into the deliberate session? Uh, stop recording. So we have more coming. Yeah.